everybody, we're gonna start the tour. We're gonna head down to Kylie's project first. My name is Jan, I'm Italian and I'm currently based in Bangkok where I teach architecture and design at INDA, a local international program. My name is Danny, um, I'm currently a postgrad student at SIRC in the Design Theory and Pedagogy um, program. I'm originally from Ohio, living in Los Angeles and about to join this guy at CU INDA in August. Space Lunar is many things. We're a platform for artists, architects, engineers. We're a collective. We are an educational group. And in this case, we are working with the Southern California Institute of Architecture. And the INDA, the International Program in Design and Architecture of Chulalongkorn University, Bangkok. The workshop is called Landing, and it's about this idea of how to understand a new landscape, a new place. And what we really thought was important was bringing together people from different backgrounds, different places, together in one area for them all to examine the same place. So first semester at the Design Theory Pedagogy program, I studied the history of design build in North America, looking at everything from Black Mountain College to experimental ways of education outside of the typical classroom. And so that continued into studying rural studio and even up to more contemporary versions like the solar decathlon. And what started at first was my idea that I really want to investigate the idea of manual training, getting students to be equipped with a certain amount of knowledge around tools, and then with the faith that that knowledge and tools, they can solve their own problems. And you know, it comes from like John Dewey and his philosophy of manual training. But upon like more studying of these programs, I came to really get interested in how each one of them looked at, at place, looked at landscape, and looked at the context that they were building in. Because that seemed to be the, the kind of trend of these design build programs, is that they would get out of the classroom. But that became what I wanted to carry over then into formulating my own thesis for a design studio. The subject of our first workshop uh, is titled Landing, uh, because we feel as architects, um, our understanding of the site um, and where we build our projects is very minimal. We really wanted to make that the core of our investigation in this workshop, to question the ground, question the environment, question um, everything in it, uh, both visible and invisible. wanted to be in the place where the people are actually building and using that architecture. The students from Inda, from Thailand, they came a week early to survey Los Angeles, to see SciArc, and we had some lectures here from experts in landscape, architecture, and then we went, both the SciArc students and the Inda students, to the site in the desert, and we spent the first weekend working with all the workshop leaders on various layers of the environment. So we had everyone split into groups, um, into water, wind, solar, um, geology, space, all these different layers. And then they came back together, and the main design goal for the students was to, with that knowledge they just acquired, to try to figure out where best to put all of these projects, where to land these projects uh, on site. So the last part of this specific workshop, we worked um, with a, a bit more advanced digital tools, such as like the LiDAR scanner. Um, we used the drone for surveying, we used a couple of uh, weather analysis devices, um, and that is to build up a, a, a new kind of digital landscape, which we then take back to SciArc, we analyze, and we prepare for the idea that we can come back to site one day and manipulate the projects and keep on adding to the projects or changing them based on these findings that are happening between the digital model and the real site itself. We believe we are in a very crucial moment for, for design. The technology is giving us a much better understanding of the world, but at the same time, um, we are more and more removed from it. As you can see with your smartphones, all the sensors that are present in it make it possible for us to get a much better scientific understanding of our environment. So as satellites take us away from, from the planet, at the same time, these small devices bring us back to it. 
and uh, we believe that there's a way to merge the two. One of the main reasons that myself and John Maria really enjoy teaching is because we learn as much as they learn. Everyone has their own ideas, their own concepts, and it's our goal as educators to bring those out. And that's through creating the right environments for learning, but also making the students comfortable in that point where they can feel really empowered to bring their own ideas to the table. And that's where we learn as workshop leaders, as, as educators, is seeing the students' individual experiences um, and then trying to really help them express those experiences. And so the idea of the workshop also was when you go to a new place, not only how do you communicate your perspective about that place, but how do you bring something from your history to change that place as well. So my next step is to move to Thailand, um, and I'm going to be teaching at the International Program for Design and Architecture in Bangkok, and joining my partner, the co-founder of Space Saloon, there. And we hope to continue these ideas of partnering with various universities, getting students to um, supplement their, their education in the classroom with activities outside of the classroom, specifically in our interest related towards the understanding of, of place, of context. Thank you.